You know, we haven't even seen the building of the third temple. Okay, they're going to start building the third temple. My best guess is 2027 into 2028. But we we need to start seeing that third temple rebuilt because why? The Jews, the Jewish nation nation was deceived, and they have rejected Christ as the Lord and Savior. All right. So Jesus Christ, we He's already taken all of our sins. We really don't need the third temple. We don't need it. But the Jews are going to build it. Why? Because they were deceived. So now, 2,000 years later, they're going to build that third temple only to have the Antichrist go in there and desecrate it and call himself the great I am. Mm -hmm. How insane is that? And why would people take the mark of the beast? Well, let's go through the four horsemen. Well, we talked about the first one. The C word, right? Second one is specifically peace taken from the earth, wars and rumors of wars. But but remember what is Matthew 24 says specifically, but this is not the end, right? So when he shows up, it's not the end, but it's the great deception. Then the third one is what? The, the, The people, so the bride... The wealth of the sinner is thrown up to the righteous, so the bride's got trillions of dollars, but everybody else who doesn't want to prepare, everyone else who doesn't thinks you and I are crazy, David, are going to have no money. They're going to lose everything. They're going to lose because the, the financial scales, when they tip the paper money system, goes to heck. By the end of this, by 2029, the U.S. currency will be worth, and all the world currencies will be worth zero. Zero. The only money system that will be around will be digital. And then when the end... But we will see the beginning of the first crash in 2023, is what you're saying. Of, of the dollar. It's not even... Of the dollar, the U.S. The dollar. The stock market crash a thousand times. It's like they did in March of 2020. The stock market crashed. They print $7 trillion and boom, up, ah, everything's fixed, right? Right, and so, right, right. And because the U.S. dollar is a rever- the reserve currency, the world keeps believing the lie, right? So the stock market could crash a thousand times. There's a possibility we might have seen a crash in October. It doesn't change anything. The point is, it's not about the dollar it's, and the, the stock market because that can crash a thousand times. It's about a 30%. It's a, it's a devaluation of the world's reserve currency currency the u.s gotcha. dollar okay so everything priced in the dollar when that dollar when the event goes down the brics nations attack the dollar every the price of all real estate in the u.s the price of all bonds mortgages um everything priced in the u.s dollar immediately takes a 30 percent haircut overnight and that will because they use derivatives to multiply the system it'll be a destruction of the financial system period and the, and, the, and the currency that will be the bank killer will be silver. So when, so when you see silver go double digit, digit go to $60 and beyond and beyond, we're, it's going to go crazy. Silver will be the bank killer that destroys the banking system. Babylon falls. The money system is what how they built it. The money system breaks. Uh, the Antichrist system later on will come to rise, but they're going to be crippled because they don't have the financial means that they have today and the bride's going to have it. But why will people take the mark? Very simple, because they didn't prepare. They refused. They thought you and I were crazy. They have no financial means. They're in food lines. They don't. And then now you got the fourth horseman, which is another some type of thing going across the world in terms of plague and pestilence. So they're looking for a savior. The savior shows up, walks into the temple, calls himself the great I am. And Israel flees to the mountains. The rest of the world believes it and take the mark and bada bing, everything thing plays out so there is a rundown of how this all plays out but we're at third seal so in, in closing we're at about to witness the opening of the third seal the greatest financial event in human history when god takes down babylon the wealth of the sinner stored up for the righteous all heck breaks loose they're not going to go down without a fight don't be surprised if we see a nuclear option but again Read Matthew 24, wars and rumors of wars, but the end is not yet. God's got this. 